All right, boys, so today I'm gonna make a review on Ethereum.000. Now this cheat actually costs like literally $5 a month, which is absolutely nothing. I'm gonna show you the most of the future and it has a lot of future, especially for movements. So watch the video. But yeah, boys, if you guys ask me, this is an amazing price for what you get. All right, boys, so I'm gonna make a review on Ethereum cheats right here. The cheat costs $6, which is absolutely nothing. Honestly, if you're gonna think about it per month. Now this cheat is more for the movement and legit tab. It's less for the HVH and rage tab, but it does have some HVH features as well as like a, and a rage bot and some other shit like that which i'm gonna go through but yeah boys to open up the menu obviously press insert and uh the injection process is really really easy you basically just open the loader click inject and just like that it's injected all right so in the legit bot tab you have a bunch of weapons so you can go ahead and you have your own config for each weapon so you pick a weapon and then from here you have enable it i can't even talk dude enable the jet bot you enable this shit you have auto crouch uh you have on key uh, which you can basically set which is should be your left mouse button and then uh, you have enemy only uh, if you want to have your aimbot on enemy only which i recommend doing smoke check uh, these two basically helps you to stay more legit because if there's a smoke or it's a flash the aimbot will not be enabled jump check local and jump check anyway then you also have draw fov what this will do is basically tell you like you see this little white circle here it basically if i shoot if someone's inside that white circle it'll actually hit them so as you can see basically we will get eventually there but if i do it outside nothing will happen if it's inside it'll move to the enemy's head but yeah i don't really use backstreet personally but you can go ahead and choose to do that if you want to uh and that's much it for the general tab let's go to the aimbot tab this is where you basically choose your aimbot and shit like that so enable aimbot you have auto pistol if you guys don't know what that is you basically shoot the pistol and you can just hold the mouse button without actually clicking it and you can see it'll click it for you without you actually have to click the wall you have auto wall basically if you do this shoot through the goddamn wall without like it has the aimbot on still I don't use that. That could literally read. That could, that could literally happen that you can get an overage ban, which is not good. So I would recommend using auto wall. Hit chance. Uh, you can do this as well to whatever you really want. And over here, you have a recall of a V. You have FOV type, static dynamic. You have smooth type, the de de acceleration, or whatever it says, acceleration. Aim type, you have, they have silent aim, aim plus silent aim. I don't use the silent aim because that can, that can go really obvious sometimes. But if you know exactly how to use it, then you should go ahead and use it if you want to. It's up to you. You can mess around with this and try to find exactly your own settings. I use 1.4 and 7.25 on smooth. Uh, RCS type, I use on aim. And this is what I use if you want to know for the RCS system. Delay on, shot, shot delay, you have kill delay. I'm not gonna go over every single goddamn future here because that would take a long time. Hitboxes, you guys should know what this is. Basically where you wanna hit the damn dude. Uh, you have additional hitboxes. Enemy priority, you can choose FOV, health, damage, yeah. Trigger bot, enable the trigger bot, set a button for it. Uh, for example, I'm gonna set like alt for it and you're going to choose whatever hitboxes you want let's go for that but yeah so now if i hold alt and choose over an enemy it'll shoot uh basically it so that's pretty much it and you can go ahead and customize it obviously more legit to less legit whatever you want to do it's right in there but that's pretty much it for the legit bot you basically go ahead and choose whatever you really want and uh yeah now rage bot we have this is more for the Rage tab, this is not an HVH cheat at all, so you do not expect to get some mad good performance on the Rage tab. But they have silent, auto use, go ahead and set your AA, uh, whatever you really want. It's going to look it down, you can do this like backwards, whatever. You can go ahead and set this to that. Aim step, you can go weapon, you can basically do anything, you can do max everything out and you can go ahead and do auto scope auto whatever. But yeah, you have silence, auto use, you can choose the FOV, aim step. I mean, this is not like a lot of shit. You have AA at least, if you see, you can do, you can choose that. I would do backwards and most people go down backwards. So you can go mess around with that and you can have your weapon. You have a FOV, hit chances over here, do whatever you really want. But yeah, let's get on to the visuals now. Let me just disable this because I'm not looking for the damn it thing. Where is it on, off, non? Disable everything here, all right. All right, should be good. All right, so for the visuals tab, 
first of all you have enable esp and you have anime only these two i definitely use because i don't want esp on my uh, friend list uh you can do visible only if you want to go ahead and do if you want to play without wall hack go ahead and toggle this on and custom esp you can go ahead and do that as well you have box which basically makes a box around them you can do even an outline and you can choose what kind of box you want a cool box you can go ahead and make the size of that however you really want you can do a rounded box which I, that looks shitty which i would never use but you might like it i don't know i prefer no box at all so i, I just keep it like that and then you have name you have weapon you have ammo you have skeleton uh, which actually kind of looks okay good you have lines as well this kind of reminds me of gta distance you have player status um you have health number you can either choose with the number flats or you can actually do both i mean you can also do an icon uh, which says how much health he has like the damn thing you can also do edgy this is probably the one that i would go for if i would go to choose health but since i want to keep it clean i'm not I don't really gonna really mess with that uh, we have dormant as well i don't really know what this even does honestly dormant so if you guys want to know or if you guys know you can comment down below you have sound dsp uh basically if someone steps it'll like tell you that they're stepping so you know exactly radar in game basically tells whatever is on on the map but yeah and then we have custom esp you can go armor health whatever you really want you have pos size offset x offset this is all for that custom esp if you want it but we give shit about that let's go to the champs and glow section enable champs and disable champs uh this is probably a really nice i hope you use it because i like it a lot and basically over here you have different champs option flat which looks the shittiest you have texture uh velvet and this is kind of highly custom i'm just talking about my own opinions here i per personally prefer e evaporation but i'm show you every single one and you have gradient i mean it's, you obviously have different colors as well so you can switch around the colors uh you for example i can go out and do this like fucking i don't know what i can do this like wait i'm just going to put this to let's see evaporation and you can go ahead and Mess around with the colors, honestly, you can do really however you really want. This is highly customizable. What the fuck's this? You have glow. Oh shit. Now it's the fucking pride or something, dude. Outline. Oh damn, that looks pretty fresh. Nah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Nah, that's too much, dude. Right, yeah. Then you have, oh shit, and this is uh, if they're, if you want to have wall hack on, you guys can go ahead and add this as well uh, if you do if you want to play without wall hack then you can go ahead and not even give a shit about it. this tab the invisible tab uh yeah that's pretty much it and then enable backtrack cams you can skip that but it's basically yeah you see it on the name backtrack champs uh, enable weapon chance you can basically get champs on your weapon like this you can choose the color of it over here change that just like so but that was pretty much it for the champs tab let's go to the objects tab. this is just a bunch of objects as you can see and check them if you want to see them on the map without you actually like it has a glow around them so enable it you can do whatever you really want you have chicken c4 ammo box all of that good stuff and then in, in the other tab you have weather mod which basically makes it rain uh and it makes the sound effect as well you can go ahead and do light of it and you can go ahead and it has some sort of oh damn that's dark and, there, and there's some sort of sound i hear when i'm when i'm changing it but you have weather density like how much you want it to rain i guess and then you have custom fog disable fog fog distance uh i'm not i'm gonna stop this thing now uh you have spread x a i r whatever that means you have a custom crosshair which by the way doesn't look bad at all um you have a ch recoil based you have no visual recoil by the way if you didn't know if you, can, you can basically shoot see there's no like like actually visible recoil uh, you have no flash, no smoke, grenade prediction, this is pretty good to have. If you're going to throw nades, I mean, obviously you're going to throw nades, but hit marker 2D, hit marker 3D, remove scope, anti-aim lines, anti-aim arrow, shit like that. Now for the changer tab, they basically have a skin changer. All of them are basically skin changers, except the profile, but how you change skins is pretty easy. You go to the changer, if, if it's a weapon, you go to the weapon tab, you choose whatever weapon it really is. Then basically you can just click it, either click it and choose the skins, or you can... Uh, choose the weapon for okay let's go and do a read let's choose an op for example all right so you have this right there and now let's say i want a uh whatever this is get that and just like that i have it now uh you have a sticker changer as well you can add the stickers if you want three sticker id i have no idea do but i add stickers 
now for the knife tab you can basically this is the exact same thing but with the knife you click this you can choose whatever knife you want let's go for bayonet you click on this thing choose whatever bayonet you want let's go for a this and then just like that you have the uh, bayonet and you can go ahead and do the stat tracks if you want you can do name tags same with the ct side gloves exactly the same Profile change here, you can go ahead and, and fake prime and you can do the fake profile as well. Let me just show you how the fake profile works. Alright, so if I go over here, it says I'm silver for IV with 14 wins. If I get away and click on this, click fake profile, uh, uh, let's see, let, let's say I want to be, I don't know, let's just go and stop like the rank number 13 and hit apply. And that will be Master Guardian Elite, just like that. And then you can also do your wins, for example, on matchmaking. Let's go ahead and type like 1,350 wins. And then we click on apply. And just like that, as you can see, if I hover over this now, 1,350 wins. Um, same with the wingman, you can do it exactly the same. Now, I think this is visible in the lobby, but not in the game. But I'm not too sure, so don't take my word for it, but... I think it's visible for the people just in the lobby though. Now, in the MISC tab, in the main tab, you have a clan tag changer, which basically puts in interior for you in the name. Uh, you have auto accept, show ranks. This will basically show everyone's ranks. If you're in a matchmaking or spectator list, it'll tell you who's spectating you. Uh, auto hold pulse, you have auto knife, auto use, override view model. Basically, this is your shit right here. Air stock, server crasher, only works on community servers, as you can see. Uh, you have slow walk, block bot if you want to troll and grief people, info spam. Uh, yeah, you basically see that basically chat spam. You can do delay of that as well. You can do info, you can do chat spammer, you can choose whatever. See, rock senses in regards. Yeah, I tried this shit out before. Uh, you can, let's quite disable this. You can do raid spammer. Basically, you'll spam in the team, in the raider. So, you have walk bot. Uh, yeah basically does shit for you i guess i guess if you wanna if you wanna reach prime in in deathmatch just enable this join a deathmatch game and just go afk and uh, i think it'll do the trick for you honestly you have a free camera it's gonna press alt if, if you don't know what this is you can basically go out and check shit out but yeah you basically you can do this and uh without getting shit you have hit sound unlock inventory mid game as well because matchmaking will not let you and then you obviously have movement right here, which most people buy the sheet for is the movement tab. Thing is, I don't know much about movement, but I guess many of you do. So uh, bunny hop, you have bunny hop chance mode. And there's a lot of shit here. I don't even know what half of this does. Bunny hop chance mode, ignores, yeah, whatever. You can pause the video if you want to read all of this. Then you have long jump start. You can just customize this a lot, dude, if you want to have a good movement. And auto duck, you have edge jump, which you can customize the bottom four. Jump bug, edge bug, crouch bug, auto strafe, and some mad customization for the auto strafe. Strafe checker, lots of options for that as well. You have fake side. If you, oh, yeah, this I know at least. This is basically, if I hold the tab now, it'll say that I am looking to the left, but it, I'm actually looking to the right. So if, you, if I'm going to B hop, that look pretty sick to them, I guess, because they have no idea. It, it looks just legit, so you, just, you could change the speed of it as well. You can do fast duck, and uh, yeah. You also have slide walk over here, basically, like, yeah, it looks like that. I don't know why you would use that, but, yep. If you know a lot about movement, you should know this is a lot, and it's great for movement. But, uh, yeah, let's get onto this poof tab. This is uh, no post processing, no shadows, engine crosshair, night mode, which you can enable and disable. Holy shit, this was bright. Uh, weapon zoom, third person, set of key for that, so as you can see. And then you can go ahead and change a nickname mid game. Just hit a nickname, and click apply a nickname. And you can do name stealer as well. Uh, yeah, that's literally it. You can reset the name as well. You could do. Yeah, there's a lot of options. This is this is all for six bucks. That's literally nothing. Not even six bucks. That's like five dollars. You also have an order tab. You can do fake lag and you can do fake ping. And then you can do desync and resolve it type. And then in the order tab, lastly, you have configs, which can save your config and. Put them in if you want the config I'm using for today. I mean, I use for today, I'll link it down below. And you also have Lua scripts, which you can actually find on like on the forum. There's lots of Lua scripts for you. Um, dope Lua scripts actually. And then you have the customize, which yeah, 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 and this is just to customize everything. I'm not gonna go over this, I'll take 20 years to do that. But yeah, rainbow menu, all right. 
Damn, okay. All right, yeah, there's lots of shit so you can customize in here if you want to. So yeah, boys, if you guys did enjoy the video, please do drop a like, subscribe to the channel. That is much, much appreciated by me. Like I said, this cheat only cost $6, so go for it. It's a great cheat. But yeah, boys, my name is Rox, and I am out.